Hello again. We've been working with color techniques in the last few tutorials and we're going to continue to do so. In this one we're going to work with a toned canvas. Now a toned canvas is nothing more than a single color that is applied to a canvas and then it is painted on and that has the effect of unifying the colors in the image in the final, uh, the final painting as well as making it simpler uh, as you don't have to go in and fill in every last bit of that, that white color of that canvas. Um, as if you look at this uh, this example, you can see there's a, uh, a medium brown color, sort of a raw, no burnt sienna type color. Uh, you can see it here along the bottom and over here on the sides, most prominently. And you can also see it uh, inside this acorn here. And that had uh, had a benefit of um, allowing me to just concentrate on the uh, the details in the image and not having to worry so much about the color scheme and also uh, just simply adding these highlights and these dark areas really was all I had to do with this and uh, it, is a, it is a great drawing tool and it really it does help you to draw more and more quickly and helps keep the, the overall tone or the overall color scheme of the painting and we're going to do something like that next and I'm going to start by going to my swap screen by pressing J and I'm going to work on a color like burnt sienna I'll just select that color and press that swap with that flip button there and it makes that the uh, secondary color and then all you have to do is hit the clear button and you'll have that color to work with now that seems a little too intense for me I'm going to adjust that by just changing the saturation slightly down to about there and I have a picture here to work with. I think I'll work a little bit larger. Now somewhere in there. Now, just using my tablet, I'm going to flesh out some of these details here very quickly. Um, I'll probably start with my whites. Select a uh, simple drawing tool, such as this one, maybe work a little bit larger. And there we go. Uh, let's see, I'll start with the overall shape of my acorn. I'll add a little bit of a highlight in there. And let's see, I'll block off this cap on here. And I'll put in a few of these leaves while I'm at it. Too much. And I'll put another one over here. A few rocks will be over here somewhere. And a little bit of grass in there. And now we're basically all ready to start coloring this in. I'll probably start with some of these dark colors, uh, and I'll work with a one of our pigment profile color schemes. I think I'll just work with the uh, the gouaches. Designer gouaches are pretty nice for this sort of thing, and I'll work with. I'll work with some uh, some of this dark color here, and maybe I think I'll use the bristle brushes for this project. I like these bristle brushes. All right, I might work with a little smaller brush. Than that. Let's see how that goes. That's pretty good for my purposes. And I'll copy this to my swap. Or no, I'll just store this as I have it. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and start blocking in some of these dark areas. And as I said before, this... Uh, this brown color in here is really going to help unify this painting and bring it all together. Let's see, I'll leave a few 
few spots in here. There might be some leaves or other things lying on the ground. Um, I'll put some more of that dark under underneath this leaf here. And around this rock. Also underneath the acorn and under that rock there of course. Let's see. Do the same on the other side here. I'm just roughly blocking this out for now. I will get more detailed as we go along. Probably pick another color to work with here. A little lighter color maybe. Start working that in up towards the top. As you can see, this is coming along pretty quickly already. I'll go ahead and work on my leaves now. It'll be a nice. Oh, about this color perhaps. I'll probably add some lighter colors on top of that after I get that down. Uh, let me go ahead and get that other side of that leaf in there too. I'll do the same on this side here. I have some nice fall colors in this image, by the way, which are always appealing. I love working with gouache paints, by the way. Gouache paints are a uh, an opaque watercolor. They behave much like watercolors. They're easy to clean up. Uh, you keep them in a pan just like watercolors and when when you're done with them you just close the pan and put them away you can always pull them out again later and uh, just add some water to them and they'll just come right back and be good to go uh, they're very easy to work with they're not they don't require as much technical uh, know-how or as much of a hassle as uh, watercolors do and they're well they're just really beautiful to work with and I will go ahead and start working on the acorn now go ahead and put the shadow in here I might use a little duller color than that purple I'm using there a little bit of that on the, on the bottom side of course as well let's see keep keep on working on this as much as you like or as little as you like There's no rule how much detail you add or don't add for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to rush through it a little bit I'm going to add a little warmer color into this uh, This acorn here, a little redder than that too. I love the way uh, these colors mix on on this this tone canvas. They're coming along, they're coming out nicely. Well, let's see. 
I want to add a few details in here. Go ahead and get this grass done while I'm thinking about it. darker color on the other side of those blades to simulate it being bent over kind of and you can always just paint on top of what you already have there too um, let me add a few highlights again to this down here I'll bring out the three-dimensionality of that a little bit it really is just a matter of how much detail you want to add and how much you want to leave out. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some real dark brown into this and add a few of these little details in here. Uh, let's see. On these leaves, like for example. Yes, you're making a mistake every now and again. Let's see, a little drop shadow under here. I might even go a little darker. A little drop shadow under there, a little more neutral color underneath that leaf to help bring that out a little bit. Once you get this far with it, you could always go in with that smear tool and blend some of these colors or you could uh, you could just you could bring this up to a higher resolution and you could just really work on the, the small details. Um, I might put a few of these little pits in these rocks here for example. And then since they the rock has pits in it. We'll add a little highlight there. Might be beneficial to work with a finer, finer tip brush there. But you get the idea. That's a highlight on those rocks, of course. You could really just keep going as I. I said before, but you really get the idea. This is a very simple way to work on a, uh, on a tone canvas. That is just one more way to work with PD Pro and Howler. And I'll see you again soon.